It's me, Esther from Kenya, living in Zurich, Switzerland. I have come to testify to the goodness of God. Since 2004, April, my paper was taken by the Swiss government. I was changing them each and every year. That year I went to Kenya and then I came back to Switzerland. April 2004, I gave my paper for renewal and the Swiss government never returned my papers. My paper was not returned and I begin suffering, Pastor Jerry, I begin living without papers. Me and my husband, since that time, we wrote immigration up to no avail. Uh, we got a lawyer that uh, that 2004. She did all she could, a very big uh, top lawyer in Zurich, and she could not uh, get, get our papers back. 2010, Pastor Jerry, the immigration refused completely and she dropped our case. Pastor Jerry, we stayed like that with a lot of disgrace, a lot of humiliation. So many friend, uh, friends left us and we were all alone praying to God that one day shall be one day and we will get our papers back, Pastor Jerry. Without paper, without nothing, we could not work in Switzerland. We were supported by the government many times and um, we continue living in pain, Pastor Jerry. Until 2020, on 29th of November, when the brother to my husband gave us, um, sent him a link, this link of NSPPD, Pastor Jerry. And he told his brother, try and follow this prayer every morning. Maybe it will change you guys' situation. I joined Pastor Jerry and I see great, great testimony. I was like, wow. Then uh, in that year, 2020, there is this money I was waiting from one place I worked. The money was released, but the government said that I cannot get that money because they were supporting me. And the moment they were supporting me, somebody here in Switzerland, any money comes which comes to you, it must go to them. So they took all the money, a lot of money, Pastor Jerry. And um, I said, if I follow Pastor Jerry every morning, if your God will bring me that money, I will follow you, Pastor Jerry. The same day on Wednesday on 16th, Pastor Jerry, 11 o'clock on 33, my husband said, check your bank, maybe your money is there. And I was like, do you think so? He said, yes, check. And I checked Pastor Jerry, Pastor Jerry, Pastor Jerry, the money was in the bank. Uh, we know how to cook very good food. So we decided, okay, let's start on our own. We were cooking up and down slowly, slowly, Pastor Jerry. As the same day, that 16, the paper came. I walked down to the street, Pastor Jerry, <laughs> and I saw one food truck. And we're not, one guy was selling the food truck and we discussed about it and with the same money we bought the food truck and Pastor Jerry we had a food truck and we begin selling food on our own fast forward to 20 22 pastor jerry and all the time you always say god is having mercy god is releasing people's paper and the lawyers which we have pastor jerry they are very very top very high lawyers and no one could understand even the police who some police police in immigration they don't understand why our paper was holded no one could understand pastor jerry because we did not do anything bad nothing nothing at all pastor jerry but the paper just went like that and you always say that it's not about by the protocol no it's by the grace it's by the grace pastor jerry pastor jerry we went on 29th of november and we paid we they took the pictures and everything and on on that december our papers came home pastor jerry we received our papers pastor jerry on go to 15th of december 2022 two weeks later my friend from kenya was calling me she called me called me pastor jerry i did not hear i called her back what is the problem any problem this is a friend who i know before i come in switzerland she and the boyfriend only for her to tell me that esther your clothes was taken by my boyfriend that uh, they say the second time when you came to kenya and you gave me your clothes your shoe my boyfriend confessed or uh, on today that was on 15th of december he confessed that he went to the witch doctor to take your clothes and they told him that before you will take this clothes you will go mad you must confess to the person who you you did this now he went back and called the girlfriend because they are no more together and told the girlfriend and that's why the girlfriend called me she was telling me and she told me that that is the boyfriend that holded all, all my my ways not to be how they were because he because he was afraid that i would help the girl and uh, move her to kenya this is according to how to she put the story pastor jerry they confessed 
they confessed, Pastor Jerry. I bless God. I bless your God. I worship your God. And I say what God cannot do does not exist. Pastor Jerry, on the same year of 2021, I go back a little bit. My sister was sick uh, for the last 25 years. She was having HIV, AIDS. And she and her husband as well, they got married. They knew that they were sick, both of them, and they got married to each other and they continue living. And in the year of 2021, Pastor Jerry, in April, you talked to, you spoke so much that God is having mercy on the people with HIV. I heard the Lord say to me, I'm releasing mercy again uh, for people with HIV. Uh, Anyone with HIV. By the mercies of the Most High, I command Debalakosha, Karebalaka, let HIV dry up by fire. Pastor Jerry, I told my husband, I knelt down for my sister, and I told my husband, kneel down for the husband of my sister so they can be healed. And he did, and we held our, our hands together, and we prayed with you. And after the prayer, I called my sister, told my sister, my sister, go and do checkup. You are no more sick. You don't have the, see that sickness again. Go, you and your husband. So she went to the hospital on Monday. That was the following week after the prayer. That week you prayed. She went on Monday, and she checked only to be found in her body that there was nothing the HIV disappeared Pastor Jerry it was nowhere to be found and the doctors did not leave her they could not believe they sent her to another hospital they sent her to more than five hospitals and they said that yeah maybe the machine they were not good maybe this and that it was not good Pastor Jerry nothing like that my sister was healed by your God uh, her husband, he, he, the day the, my sister went, the husband did not follow her because he was not so sure. So, but by the time my sister did the checkup to the one hospital, the second one and the third one, him too, he picked courage and he went to the hospital and they checked him and he was, the HIV was nowhere to be found. Both of them today, they are living uh, free, they are free from the HIV. I thank you, Pastor Jerry, Pastor Ogoro, I thank you, thank you, thank Thank you, Pastor Jerry. Thank you for allowing God to use you to reach to his children. Thank you so much, Pastor Jerry. May God keep you. May God be with you. May God direct you as always. Thank